Hello everyone, my name is Rani. I would like to share with you the Word of God because it is our responsibility, it is our duty to share the good news. This work is not only for pastors, leaders, workers in the church, but this work is for all Christians, for all believers of relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ who believe in God. It is our duty to worship our God and to share the good news. And this time I would like to share with you the great commandment of the law versus the new commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 22 verse 35 to 40, we can find it here the the great commandment of the law. The Word of God says, Then one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him and saying, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first of the great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. You know that there are 611 law of Mosaic law. Plus two of this, all in all, is 613. And let us focus on this law. As you can find and we can observe in this verse, the source of love, it's come from man. It comes from you. It comes from us. And we know that the human love is miserable. It's limited. Sometimes it depends on our feelings. So when we are hurt or when we are stressed and our love will gone, that's the tendency of, of human love. But praise God because our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us the new commandment. So when we receive our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, when we believe Him, that He is our Lord and Savior, we believe as we believe that his blood who paid for our sin and he said he will give us a helper and he will give us a Holy Spirit who will dwell in us. So now let us try to, to study the new commandment of Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we can find it in John chapter 13 verse 34 to 35 and it's in the word of God says a new commandment I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you that you also love one another by this all we know that you are my disciple if you have loved one another so the source of love here, it's not from human, but it comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. She said, you love one another as I love you. If we don't have Christ, it's impossible for us to love like what Jesus Christ loved to us. Because of sin, because of the pride of life, the Holy Spirit depart from us. And all the glory of God, we are for all of us in a full shirt of the glory of God. But when we receive our Lord Jesus Christ, our personal, personal Savior, He gives us the Holy Spirit who is dwelling in us. The Holy Spirit who will help us to love one another as what Jesus Christ loves us. Because the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, give us as our helper, as his substitute because now Jesus Christ is 
sitting in the right throne of his father. And now the Holy Spirit is working in us right now. He is molding us right now so that we can live a holy life. Because the purpose of the Holy Spirit it will help us to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ so that we can walk and we can follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Because by our own strength, we always fail. We cannot do by our own. It is already proven in the Old Testament. When, they, when God provided them the law, no one fulfilled. But praise God because of the love of the Father, the grace of His Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit who is with us. If we surrender, if we walk in the Spirit, the Lord will help us. And it's not hard for us to love one another as what Jesus Christ loved us. And when we love our God, it's not because we love Him, but because He loved Him first, that's why we can love Him immeasurable, unlimited. Because the source of love that we can give to God, it comes from, it does not come from us, but from the Holy Spirit who teaches us, who teaches to our soul. So that's why, my fellow brethren, let us walk in the Spirit. Let us shine the light that God has given unto us. Because if we rely to our love to the Father, so that's why there's a lot of Christians who are serving the Lord but not committed. Sometimes they are fired up, they are so um, excited, and then afterwards they failed. Because it's just a human love. But when we walk in the Spirit, when we entrust to the Lord, when we entrust to God our life, the Holy Spirit will help us. And He will guide us so that we can glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, our Lord Jesus Christ will help us to glorify the Father. Always remember, our duty, our responsibility is to worship God and to share the good news to everyone so I hope and pray that everyone have a relationship with the Lord let us continue to spread the gospel because we have one spirit we have one God we have one Christ and let's do this for him God bless everyone Father God in heaven thank you so much Lord for your love and your mercy that you have given to us and I pray O oh Lord that who are listening this message I pray the Lord that you will open their hearts and mind may the work of your Holy Spirit be upon them and fill them O oh Lord that you will convict them O oh God that we should walk in the Spirit sometimes Lord it's hard for us to listen to your voice because the world is too loud but help us O oh God help us O oh Lord that we can give time for you, that we can know you more, we can know the Holy Spirit and Lord Jesus Christ, the Trinity of God who is working in us. So Lord, we entrust to you, and I pray that your will be done, that our life will be always in, in line to your plan, O Lord. And this we ask in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless everyone.